First of all, I'd like to tell you a bit about myself. I'm Joe Kelly from London, a uh, disability campaigner. Um, same as yourself, I've been through the system, um, mental health system, medication, you name it. Um, I had a fairly active life, um, doing community work, working in films, in horticulture, I was at the Royal Horticultural Gardens for two years. And um, um, I studied art and later life became a teacher. I'd like to start by some quotations. First one is by Marianne Dickett Williamson, A Return to Love. It was also used by Nelson Ma Mandela in his inaugural speech in South Africa. And it goes, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are we not to be? You are a child of God. Your pleasing, your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. You were meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, but in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we un uncontinuously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Yes. Um, uh, the second quote is uh, from the Bible, Proverbs 29.18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. So I'm proposing a new vision of disability, not just mental health, but other, all the disabilities. Um, and I feel that with the present technology, we should be able to overcome all the physical barriers. And with humane treatments, I feel that the mental health problems can be overcome. And I also feel with the right facilitation help, people with learning difficulties can overcome their problems. My next um, item on my vision is stigma. Um, I think we should work harder on that. I think uh, some of the biggest culprits are within the health service, the ones that serve us, the ones that give us this horrible message that we're no good and don't have any real expectation. You know, I'd like to put them for a fortnight on Largaxol and give them some ECT. <laughs> I think creativity is one of our biggest assets. Um, I ran a group called Footsteps Arts. Um, I see fantastic creativity in rethink. And nobody has the um, monopoly on good ideas. Um, we need to really boldly go where none have gone before. So one of my thoughts about this new, uh, this new vision is that we should set the agenda more not responding to the dictates of others. Um, proactive instead of reactive. I often find when I go to meetings, we're responding to something that some petty bureaucrat has put on the table. You know, hasn't been near a hospital, and here's all our wonderful knowledge, and we don't really push it. In recent years, Ruby Wax has done some wonderful work, Stephen Fry also, we need to win the hearts and the minds of the ordinary general population, put our message across. Very heartened to see today, we've got a camera here so that this event can be recorded, hopefully go out to tell people what we're all about. I've got some goals that I'm working towards, um, developing a think tank on Skype. If people are interested in that, they let me know, and also, on the blog on Disability Arts Online, there's an opportunity for people to send me messages 
and uh, um, give me details. Um, I'm working towards a summit conference in 2013, working with people who are backing me and sponsoring me. Thank you very much for listening to me. Uh,